my dick basically going like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Dude, that will fuck you up in the bedroom. You will not get an erection at all. You're just gonna feel sad. You're gonna feel pathetic. You're gonna feel ashamed of yourself. Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Fearless Dan, back with the Fearless Family. Today, we're gonna be talking about ED, erectile dysfunction. How long does it take till the ED finally starts to get cured? Especially while you're on nofap hard mode. You're not jerking the jiggly, you're not watching no pigglies, you're just chilling. How long does it take? Is it really the full out 90 days? Does it happen sooner? Is it later? We're gonna dive into all that great stuff. I'm in a generous mood right now and I figured, you know what, let's do this. So I'm gonna be giving out a free coaching call up to one hour for free. So to be qualified for the coaching call, all you have to do, smash up the likes, make sure you're subscribed, drop a comment, and make sure you then follow me on Instagram. These are the qualifications needed for you to enter the raffle to win a free coaching call. It'll take you 15 seconds max. So if you're interested in talking one-on-one -on -one with Fearless Dan for free, you get my time. We'll schedule it around a time that's good for you. Just do those things, smash up the likes, smash subscribe, drop a comment, and follow me on Insta. And in the next video, I will reveal the winner. How long does it take until erectile dysfunction is cured while you're on nofap? This is an interesting one. I have a bit of a mixed opinion on it. So I think the classic 90 day route works for most people just because you have a big variety of, of people in here, right? We have hundreds of thousands of people who are dabbling in nofap, uh, different kinds of usage, different rates of usage, a different duration of usage. So because of all those factors, it's gonna differ a little bit, but I feel like 90 is that beautiful average that everyone will fall under, and generally everyone will pretty much experience a clean reboot and a healthy recovery uh, through that 90 day process. However, there's something to be noted, okay? And I'm gonna tell you about the story of losing my virginity. I had a streak about maybe a year or two ago that was like well over 100 days, 120, 140, it was probably in the 150s, maybe even higher. This was hard mode. And yes, I had wet dreams throughout that on a monthly basis, but I wasn't watching porn, I wasn't having sex. And uh, that's when I had met my ex. When we had actually gone to have sex, I wasn't able to get it up. I wasn't able to get it up. It, it was not getting up. Like, we were lying there in bed, and you know, it was so beautiful. We were enjoying the moment and enjoying our intimacy. And I wasn't able to get my ding dong up. And it was fucking with me. It was fucking with me. I felt so like sad and I'm like, I'm sitting here beside this beautiful girl and you know, she's she's comforting me. She's telling me it's okay. And I feel so bad that I'm not able to get over what's going on in my head and to just get it up and, and have a great time, you know? It was really pissing me off. And so literally we were just sitting through like an hour of frustration of just like making out and just my dick basically going like, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. And it was new territory for me, so I was scared. One could look at that and be like, yo, have you not recovered yet? What, what's the issue here? How come you can't get, get it back up? I guess my brain cells still need to be wired. I guess I haven't progressed far enough on nofap, right? Wrong. It was just anxiety. That's all. I would get rock hard when we would just walk around just holding hands or kissing. And here we are in a bedroom and I'm just like, oh, oh, I'm freaking out, right? Because I'm anxious. Because it's just, what's going on up here? It's not a matter of, oh, my brain cells want porn and I'm only attracted to porn and I still need to rewire my brain. Let me go a thousand days and then try again. No, I just had to overcome this crutch. Whether you're a porn addict or not, that crutch is there and you have to just get over it. And so <laughs> by the end of that night, um, I was finally able to get an erection and I think I came in like 15 seconds. <laughs> it was hilarious. After that though, it just got progressively better and better and better and better and better. I was a lot more comfortable now when we were able to experience a really, really awesome sex life. That was just patience and time and over time we became more comfortable with each other. That's how it progressed. I feel like there are guys out there who got in a sexual scenario because of that anxiety, they just blame that onto porn. But don't get me wrong, okay? Porn really, really does mess sex up. It, it really does. Especially if you're an addict, there's no doubt that there is something called porn-induced erectile dysfunction. Like, if I were to go now and watch a lot of porn for like weeks on end, and I were to, were to go have sex, I would experience it. I would experience porn-induced erectile dysfunction since I've gotten over that now. 
that like anxiety, it would be very clear for me what's going on. Um, but most guys have PIED and they have the anxiety of being vulnerable and naked with another human being in bed and wanting to initiate intimacy. It's out of their comfort zone. So because of these two, it can kind of get mixed. You can kind of mismatch. You know, the porn, the guy who has PIED might be like, oh, I guess I'm just anxious. And the anxious guy who doesn't have PIED, he might just think he has PIED. What's this? Oh! <laughs> Back then I could have been like, oh, I guess something's wrong with me, I'm sorry. Let's just wait a hundred days. hundred days go by, same old, same old, right? No difference. So that's a really big one. That's a big one, guys. Uh, developing that comfort and understanding the difference between the two. Some of you will have overcome your PIED maybe 30 days in, 40, 50, 60. Maybe some of you is gonna take a little bit longer. Really look at your how long you've been abusing it, how frequently, how intense the content was because that will give you an idea of like okay honestly i didn't abuse it that much i didn't watch that hard much hardcore stuff i think 30 days and i'll be okay and boom maybe your libido will kick back others may require that mid-range may require the full 90 may require the full end spectrum you know if you're a classic case where you started where you're an adolescent 10 11 12 and you've been using it for you know anywhere from you know two to five years i would say the 90 is a rule of thumb um, stick with the 90 trust in the 90 and when you overcome that 90 now you know by then you will no longer have PIED okay that's just for the average guy and so when you go to have sexual encounters you should go in with the mindset of like okay this may go a little south I may struggle a bit to communicate that to your partner and work through it and over time you'll find your libido is just getting better and better every time you have sex um, because you have to develop that comfort. It's very important to distinguish the two and you can only do that by eliminating one of them. So you have to first eliminate the PIED, completing your reboot, because then you'll be like, okay, goodbye PIED. Jefferson Draymond saving it. Steph hiding behind Jordan and there's the record. Peace lates, it's out of the question, it's out of here, okay? And then now you have awareness that there is anxiety, there is, a little bit of a struggle and discomfort involved when you want to lose your virginity or if you haven't had sex for a very long time and you want to have sex with someone most guys don't realize this i didn't i didn't when i had my very first sexual encounter um this was before my first relationship i had that anxiety i was like 60 days in and i was my erections were amazing i would my libido was was great it was like vibrant i'd be waking up with morning wood um you know every time i get intimate with a girl uh, during like foreplay, I would just totally just feel aroused. And as soon as we take things a little step further, str struggle to finish, I was just in my head. I'm like, oh my God, I'm anxious. Uh, because I was, I was scared, dude. I was just fucking scared. I was in my head. I was anxious. I wasn't communicating that. I wasn't very comfortable. Okay. It wasn't very comfortable. And that plays a huge fucking factor. You know, if you're having sex in a public space with someone you just met an hour ago, it might be a little difficult to, you know, to get it going because your, your mind is going in so many places. So when the mind is all over the place, if it's not in the moment, in the current moment, in the present moment with the other person, you're going to experience your ding dong flipping. Okay. Don't mistake that for PIED. Okay. And you'll only learn what that means over time, getting reference experiences, putting yourself out there, getting in those scenarios. So here's what you do. Stick with the reboot, stick through it, complete the reboot, Okay, complete the 90 days. Um, once you start getting signs of your libido coming back, morning wood, uh, you know, if you're out on a date with a girl and you're feeling so much attraction towards her, um, if you're holding hands with a girl and you're just getting extremely aroused, those things will happen. You might get in scenarios during your reboot where these things happen. Um, that's a good sign. That means your re reboot is your reboot. Your libido is refreshing. It's coming back. And there's a very high chance that you've overcome PIED by then uh, because you're actually able to be aroused and your brain is going through the works to allow you to experience a real sex life. Once you start getting signs, so get, get through the reboot, get through the 90 days, and by then you'll have some cues that, okay, my libido should be in check. Now, now what you're gonna do is get out there, put yourself out there, cold approach pickup, um, you know, go clubbing with your bros, and get these reference experiences where you're 
uh, talking to girls, you're practicing your conversational skills, you're kissing girls, uh, you're taking girls home. Practice that shit, okay? And work through it, okay? Work through it. The best thing would be to meet someone during the daytime, someone you can really, really connect with spiritually, emotionally, and that you trust a lot. Develop the trust, and so when you go to lose your virginity with them they are totally understanding okay they're totally understanding and they know that it's a process for you and they understand your anxieties because the worst thing would be to have a partner who doesn't understand your history and doesn't understand where you're at and they're putting more pressure on you why aren't you hard oh huh. am i not hot enough blah 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 dude that will fuck you up in the bedroom you will not get an erection at all you're just gonna feel sad you're gonna feel pathetic you're gonna feel ashamed of yourself those emotions are the opposite of arousal it's gonna crush your arousal okay so you need a partner who's very understanding who's confident in themselves who won't be like oh they're not hard so i guess i'm worthless okay you need you need to be with a partner who's very understanding so when that time comes they help you work through it step by step by step okay and you know you start off slow Low, you know start off slow you build the trust with her and then over time maybe a week or two goes by then you'll be like hey you know let's let's go get a bedroom or some shit or come over to my place or go over to her place and then you you spend time just being together and, and cuddling and you get comfortable with being close and uh and then you, you you take it step by step and then you know then then you take off your clothing and you practice what it feels like being skin to skin and, and taking it step by step by step by step by step, building that comfort, becoming, getting used to that feeling, okay? That's what's gonna help you. And then slowly, slowly over time, you know, do your own research on this too. You just take it step by step and slow. That's basically how it needs to go, especially if you're a virgin, that's the best way to do it. Step by step, slow, let your partner know what's going on, that you're a virgin, There's no shame in that. My ex knew I was a virgin before we ever had sex. She found that out very early on on like some live stream, okay? There's no shame, no shame at all in the fact that you're a virgin. There's nothing wrong with that. It's okay how old you are. No one cares. It's all good. So take it step by step, communicate yourself, and, uh, and you will overcome that next hurdle of the anxiety and the discomfort. And when you overcome that, oh man, enjoy, enjoy. Okay, so guys, smash up the likes, subscribe, drop a comment, like, go and follow me on Instagram. Once you do all those three things, then I'll be checking. I'll know who is who. Once you do those things, you've now opted in to a chance to win a free, where we're gonna take a look at your life, we're gonna take a look at your goals, we're gonna take a look at your pain points and see what you need to do, to, what you need to do to improve, what areas of your life needs improvement, what areas of your life you're unsatisfied with, and an action plan, a detailed action plan, and the mindsets and principles that you may be missing revolutionize your life. I've been doing these coaching calls past weeks, past month, and it's been fucking awesome. Peace out.